Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Chen, Daniel Ho Song Chin, a uh, Chinese Norwegian living in Japan. I'm a violin maker, bow maker, and a stream maker. Today, I talk about the bridge. First, the thickness of the bridge. The upper part should be 1.5 mm. Okay, 1.3 to 1.5. No thicker, no thinner. And the feet uh, is about 4 to 4.2 mm. So that's the thicknesses. And make it thicker in the middle. It's like you have a stomach. Make a stomach in the middle. So the bridge will not bend. And the height of the bridge. Uh, the E string clearance of the, of the day is 3 mm. And the G string is 5 mm. So you measure it, the clearance between here, the G string 5 mm, and E string 3 mm. Then you make the curve cover like this. How should the bridge stand on the violin? It is just put it on the violin, no glue. Uh, I had a customer uh, told me that he just bought a violin and when he bought the violin back, when he's trying to tune up, the, the, the bridge just, just falling off. So the customer, the father, the father of the customer is very, very angry. He says, uh, uh, you people didn't do anything with the bridge, you just put it on. Uh, I said, the, the violin, the bridge should just put it on. Then he said, okay, we are beginner, we don't know. I will pay you to glue it on. Put some glue and glue it on to, to make it uh, not falling off. Then I said, okay, you can go to some other violin maker to pay them to glue it for you. Then you can come to me to pay me to unglue it for you. <laughs> of course, that is a joke. The violin bridge is only put it on, but Many, 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 many people, especially beginners, they all have a tendency, the bridge will go off like this, we're going forwards. Because you're tuning up, tuning up, the string's going down this way, and the bridge is bent like this. So, what is the correct position for the bridge? Then you hold the bridge like this, and then use a ruler, and put on this side, it should be 90 degrees. It is 90 degrees to your top, to your bridge 90 degrees. But you on this side, then it's not. Then you can see some clearance between this and my face. You can see, see, should be like this, see, see. But here you cannot, no, no place to get. go. So if this part is 90 degrees, then the bridge is okay. Then you see the bridge is tended going back like this, a little bit back like this. The angle is this. Not here, it'll be like this. Uh, it's like um, you, if someone trying to pull you, you back a little bit, then you are much heavier, you are firmly stunned. If you bend like this, somebody pull you, then you just, you just go off. The same thing with the bridge. If the bridge, the angle is going this way, then the sound is not good. Then if the bridge going back like this is much stronger, you can take much stress. So, uh, so that is the uh, idea of a correct position of bridge. I say it again, 90 degrees this way and uh, not 90 degrees. You have more clearance than this way. That is correct way of a bridge. Okay, so every time if you I don't know why my camera, the color is changing. Okay, I just say maybe the, the, the camera is angry with me. I don't know. Okay, comes back. Hey, the color is changing uh, constantly. Okay. Um, so now you know uh, the correct position of your finger bowl, uh, uh, sorry, of your bridge. So always check it. If if the, the bridge bent like this, you have to loose your old strings and pull it back a little bit more, then tune it up back until it is 90 degrees this way. 
always keep it 90 degrees this way, then you will be safe. You, you, can, you can use the bridge for many, 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 many years, or 50, 100 years maybe. Thank you very much. Oh, wow.